In the last video, I showed how to open the blowfold. So, why did I open my blowfold? The reason for this actually is um, that I had the famous blowfold encoder problem and um, I wanted to um, repair the encoders. I've read something about um, the encoder issue and uh, that there is actually some dirt inside the encoders and that uh, this causes the encoders um, to behave strange. I've also read that um, you can actually open the encoders somehow and uh, clean them inside. So in this video I um, want to show you how I do that um, and if this uh, really helps. As you can see here I've also tried the um, capacitor trick on the encoders to make them behave better but as you can see here some enco encoders work more or less and some simply do not yeah I can turn back and forth and it just doesn't react there are jumps sometimes it works sometimes not and um, you can't really uh, use this synthesizer with such encoders. So we have to do something and try to fix them. When you open your blowfold, you can see something like this. My blowfold is about six and a half years old and there is a lot of dust in there. And when reading something about um, dirt inside the encoders, I thought of dust. And when you see this, um, it's, it's quite logical that there must be dust inside the encoders, but actually there is something else inside. This is the encoder left of the display. As you see, it is assembled and holds by four metal tongues. And you have to bend all of these um, metal plates up to um, take the upper parts of the encoder. So take a very small and thin screwdriver and try to get under one of these tongues to bend them up. But remember to be careful because they really are thin and um, you can break them very easily. I actually think that um, you can do this just one or two times and after that um, they will surely break. So just pray that you have to do that just once. After you have bent these metal stripes, you can also use a screwdriver to take the top of the encoder. Yeah. And this is how the encoder looks like inside. This is the upper part of the encoder and this is the lower part. You have the axis inside with the metal contacts. 
and you have the lower part of the housing with other contacts. And as you can see here, it should be um, very shiny and white, but actually there is really dirt in there, but it's not dust, it's grease. I've took a Q-tip with a bit of contact spray to clean the encoder inside. Yeah, you see how dirty this encoder really is. And I've took the side of the Q-tip to clean the encoder from the contact spray so that this encoder should be very clean now. And also remember to clean the counterparts of the encoder. But be very careful because these very very thin metal stripes really break very easily and I almost broke uh, one of these encoders in that way. Okay, so you see the axis inside of the metal housing and on this axis there is grease yeah you see the, the shiny part of the axis it's grease so that um, the axis moves very smooth inside of the housing but from this housing, the grease runs into the contacts of the encoders, causing all these problems. And here we see this um, uh, encoder on the right side under the display, causing the problems. And you see how dirty these encoders are. So I don't know what went wrong in the production of these encoders, but this really should not happen, I think. And this is how a clean and happy encoder should look like. This is finally the result. And as you can see here, the right encoder now reacts very smooth without any delay. There are no jumps, and you can set the values precisely and without any problems. And this is how all the encoders should work like. And as you can see here, all the other encoders also work properly. And just like uh, the first day, I've bought the Blofeld and used it. And um, I'm of course very happy with the results. I did not think that um, it would work and have um, uh, such an impact on the quality of the encoders. So this was my small tutorial. Thanks for watching the video and um, if you try that yourself, I wish good luck. Thank you.